biggest part of improv that improves your presentation skills is that that confidence that comes in to just throwing yourself into a situation. A lot of times we liken improv in class with the engaging educator to heightened reality. So you've got the real world and your everyday. So mistakes on this level are terrifying. They're awful. They feel awful. Generally speaking, they don't ruin or end your life. We feel like they might. And then you go into improv and it's this really high stakes, high emotion. Everything is present. It happens so fast. You don't talk about doing things. You just do them. So when you're doing things in improv, you're feeling foolish and you're realizing that life is okay and you get to move on after you make a mistake. So thinking about tying it to presentations and speaking, you become a lot faster on your feet because you're dealing with these crazy situations in class in a safe space. Also, a really th a thing that a lot of our students take away and that I've found is great is the idea you're practicing conversation in spaces where everyone else is practicing. You don't get to be a voyeur in conversations often. I mean, you can eavesdrop on people in coffee shops and like pay attention to what they're saying or how they sound. And if you look on Twitter, people literally write like overheard in coffee shop and these awkward moments. Improv is all about that. So you're listening to yourself, you're thinking about it, you're reflecting, you're seeing where you sound awkward or strange or come across too harsh. And then you can work on adjusting that. So I think those are the two biggest kind of takeaways of like, it's not real and you can have a redo. And then the idea of you are doing crazy things. So everything else seems so much easier after class.